Is the looming spot Bitcoin ETF approval a sell the news event or a buy the news event? When Lambo, I'm such a degen. Welcome to DGENI from the blockchain where we defy logic. And in this episode, there's a lot of people saying that we're going to have a buy the rumor, sell the news event that we traditionally see in crypto when big things in the space are announced. They come, and then we have a big dump. But then, for the first time, really, I'm hearing a buy the rumors, buy, buy the rumor, buy the news event is going to be happening when the spot Bitcoin ETFs get approved, where it's just going to shoot the price up um, astronomically, and uh, we're not going to have a sell the news event. Personally, I think that we're going to have something like what XRP did when it... Uh, had a favorable summary judgment where the underlying asset of XRP was ruled not to be a security. I think that, you know, there we saw XRP shoot up to a buck. Um, it had a huge move for a day or two, and then it came right back down roughly to where it was settling out before that uh, that event happened. So I don't think Bitcoin is going to go to new all-time highs after this, but I think, you know, we're going to have a nice big green candle that day and then i think we're just going to engulf it the next day um or maybe it plays out over a course of a few days but it's a very high price for bitcoin when we get up to you know 50k and even 55k we have to remember that bitcoin flirts with a trillion dollars in market cap and right now i just don't see until all that money comes in i just don't see that bitcoin making a trillion dollars in its market cap as a floor, right? And that's when we'll have new all-time highs that are sustainable. I just don't see that happening soon. But of course I see it happening over the course of years. I mean, it's just gone up and to the right. We know that. So that's when you just zoom out, zoom way out, and you know that this is going to be a bullish event. But on the day, um, I don't think it's going to be sell the news and if it is how significant is that sell anyway let's take a look at a article from crypto quant that is on coindesk and this is from december 28th so it says here bitcoin etf approval tipped to be sell the news event and this is again from crypto quant bitcoin could fall to as low as thirty-two thousand next month if an ETF is approved. And again, this was from December 28th, so that is now this month in January. Now, I mean, just look at that right there. Bitcoin could fall to as low as 32,000 next month. Look, do we really care if Bitcoin falls to 32,000 in January this month? We don't. So that's what I mean when we're talking about a sell the news event. Is it really a sell the news event? Because for a lot of us, we're in this for the long haul. And we're in this for, you know, the next bull market of new all-time highs. And a, a dip down to 32% is no big deal to any of us, you know? Because, fine, let it stay there for a week or two. It's just more accumulation. It's just more accumulation for us. And uh, we know that it's most likely just going to slowly climb back up. The Bitcoin, have, uh, the Bitcoin halving event will happen in roughly April. And then, of course, the SEC could lose some more cases. Gary Ginsler, you know, who knows if he's even going to be there or not. And then we're off to the races, right? So um, if we read some more here, I just think it's funny that we think Bitcoin going down to 32,000 is catastrophic when just a few months ago in September or August, let's say, we were in the 20,000s, you know? And now we're saying 32,000 is a, is a sell the news. I mean, big whoop. Nobody, I mean, I don't care about that. That would just be a buying opportunity. Bitcoin is expected to correct to as low as 32,000 this month following the potential approval of a spot ETF according to data provider CryptoQuant. In what is being described as a potential sell the news event, CryptoQuant said in a note to Coindesk that traders' unrealized profits are currently lingering at a level at a level that historically precedes a correction. Okay, I just love how they use the word expected. Bitcoin is not expected to do anything, you know? I mean, 
32,000, I'm sure we're going to hear in this article that, you know, they're going from data from crypto quant and that it news like this or events like this have seen a big drop, whatever, but to 32,000, it's expected. I don't think anybody can say that. So, quote, sell the news is a well-known term in capital markets. It describes how asset prices, leverage, and sentiment run up in the lead up to a bullish event, only for prices to tumble shortly after. This is because astute traders capitalize on the overcrowded long trade, trapping those with leverage and forcing them to close or get liquidated as price goes against them. An ETF being approved is perceived as a bullish event as it will open up inflows to Bitcoin from institutions, thus creating consistent buy pressure. You could say that that's already happening now, and the only money that's going to come into Bitcoin after the approval is by retail or people FOMOing in. So I don't know. That's what I mean. I, we're going to have a sell the news event probably, but ultimately, if you just zoom out by a few months, really, it's just going to look like a little dip and people are going to be buying this thing up and then the halving comes. Yeah. And hopefully we're off to the races. Quote, short term Bitcoin holders are experiencing high unrealized profit margins of 30%, which historically has preceded price corrections. Red circles in the chart below. We'll take a look. Crypto Quant wrote in a note. Moreover, short term holders are still spending Bitcoin at a profit, while rallies usually come after short term losses are realized. And there's your chart. You can pause the video here if you want to take a look at that. I'm just going to move on. CryptoQuant added that Bitcoin price may decline to as low as 32000 which is the short-term holder realized price. Um, Caprioli Investments said that, quote, conservative portfolio management makes sense in the lead up to the potential approval of a spot ETF. And then on X, we have a post from Toby Cunningham at Sir Crypto Tips from the YouTube channel Crypto Tips. I follow them and watch their daily videos. Uh, it's great information. Follow them and uh, and subscribe to them if you'd like. I find their information useful. But he says, who will be correct? The 1% of Twitter who says the ETF will not be a sell the news event, and that's his stance, or the 99% who will be selling the news. So he actually thinks that the sentiment is still by the rumor, sell the news. But for me personally, I see a lot of people on YouTube saying, buy the rumor, buy the news, essentially. So I find it interesting that he says that the 99% is the people who are saying selling the news. I'm seeing a lot of people super bullish that it's going to be a buy the news event. So January 1st at 9.34 p.m. is when he posted this poll. But 189 votes so far. Um... And uh, we have 74% saying, the 1% saying it's going to be a buy the news. And everyone else, or the 99%, is at 26% saying that it'll be a sell the news event. And somebody else I subscribe to on YouTube is your friend Sami. That's his YouTube channel, and you can see him here on X at your friend Sami. I love his takes. He is hilarious, first of all. And he really makes you think with uh, some of his posts and videos that he makes. And I love that about him. But he says, don't forget who told you BlackRock Bitcoin ETF was a Trojan horse from the very start. Don't trust those who say, buy the rumor, buy the news. Don't forget everyone is still here because they blindly followed mainstream in 2021. That's true. So many people were blindly following other people in 2021 that came into it, me included, and I've learned a lot since then, of course. Um, but yeah, your friend Sami is saying that this that this should not be a by the rumor, by the news event, because we simply don't see that. And again, he just makes you think second of uh, what this market is going to do, because we certainly don't know, and that's why I value your friend Sami. So we have an article showing data that this is probably going to be a sell the news event. We have we have crypto content creators that are on both sides of the fence. And personally for me, I've seen a lot of buy the rumor, buy the news sentiment with this spot, Bitcoin ETF approval that's on the horizon. And again, I say that overall it's bullish, okay? It just exposes more people to Bitcoin, whether it is actual Bitcoin that 
is being bought up when people buy into this ETF or it's just paper money, paper Bitcoin, where BlackRock, for example, holds a bunch of Bitcoin and you're just kind of buying into their bag. It doesn't matter if it's a sell the news or a buy the news event. Um, over time, it's going to be bullish anyway, and we're all looking for those major gains this year and later on in 2025 to hopefully get out of the market reaching your goals. I know that's what I'm in here for. So let me know what you think. Is the Spot Bitcoin ETF approval going to be a buy the rumor, buy the news event, or buy the rumor, sell the news event? Let me know in the comments below. Always do your own research because this is not financial advice. It's just my blockchain reaction. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching to the very end. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, drop a comment and share the video. Follow me on X at DJNY Crypto and please enjoy the next episode or my suggestion to the left.